so hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you guys how you can make your own youtube thumbnails from your mobile devices yeah i said this from your own mobile devices so you don't have to learn about carrying a laptop you can use it on your mobile devices and can edit it whether you're in the bus you're in the car in class no no don't do it in class now take me to class listen to that. so you can listen to it anywhere at any time like when i start my youtube channel you might be asking me i highlight my youtube channel thumbnails and if i paid somebody to do it for me but i was like i don't know my phone i basically do everything for my youtube on my phone so i'm going to be showing how to do it from an android point of view let's get to the video okay so i'm going to show you the picture i'm going to use for my thumbnail so this is the picture that i would like to be using for my thumbnail then i'll go to pix art then select the picture i'm using then click on cut out the one with the scissors emoji. Then these various options are to show you if you just want the head of the person to be in the picture or want the face or the whole person in particular. So I'm going to click on the person because I just want myself to be there to cut out my background. So after I finish loading, So yeah it's saved so then it shows you the preview of how it looks like if you still want to add some things you click on the restore to put some things back but you want to erase more things then click on erase to like cut up my head and stuff like that so you hit the preview when you're done to check it out to see how it looks like if you're satisfied with how it looks like then if everything is all well and good you hit this save button up there so after saving it we're going to add borders now so when you're going through the options you have below you click on the border option then you see the thickness thickness is to um intensify the border line or to make it thinner like it is now or nothing at all then you have various options below variety of options of colors that can make you want to lose your mind if you're not careful so you're going with different kind of things and this part is actually very stressful for me because like everything just looks good everything just looks good like, i don't know but i think i'm going to go with yellow so i'm just going to put a perfect shade of greenish orangish kind of yellowish color do you like this one mm. nah it's too bright It's fine. I think this is fine. So I'm just going to like change the intensity. I don't want it to be too thick. So I think I'm done. I'm just going to save it now. Then I'll save it using the arrow that's facing down. Save it in my photo gallery. It is very advisable to turn your phone to auto rotate because if it's like portrait, it's going to be kind of confusing for you when using this next app. This app is called Pixel Lab. Clicking on the three dots above on the far right, then on image size, we're going to click on custom to select what we're going to do, which is YouTube thumbnail, to provide us the templates. After doing that, we're going to hit the plus above. Then this part just helps to pick your background, so that's what I'm going to be using. After copying now, adjust now, adjusting, just make sure everything fits. You hit the layer above. Then you bring it back down to make sure that the new text is in front of it. Then you lock it, then go back to the plus, then pick the picture you want to use. So you do it also again, copy it, then adjust it and make sure you size it up to how you want it to be either on the left or on the right. You can increase it to whatever size you want to increase it to. Then you bring it down again. Then lock it so that nothing tampers with it. Then click back on the layered icon to take it out. Then click on A, then text, then styles, then browse. And this will give you various formats of text that I want to use. Click on edit, then change the text. I like my titles to be in all caps, so how to create it with thumbnails. Click on done. Okay. And that's it. You can adjust it to how I want it to be. 
it can make it long it can make it fat so you just keep adjusting it to it gets the satisfaction so on the right hand here we have so many options these are your tools so i'm going to be increasing the size this is the highest we can go yeah but this is like yeah it's too big for me so i just like skip it on a minimum level so this is the size that i want it to be so just keep adjusting it because i want it to be like long and not just like wide so i'm doing that doing that yay yes i think this is it i've gotten it so i'm going to try out the different tools and showing what it can do starting from the one at the right to the right to the front takes the text to the front then to the back it sends the text to the back then for position if we don't want to move it to your hand to this to the right to the left up down like that then let the position how you want it to be like that same basically same thing but like covers much more distance than the other one then after doing this i don't know that i'm going to cancel it after that then you have the size so i'm still going to see how if i increase the size how it's going to look like so apparently it's changing what i had in mind so i think at the end of the day i just cancel this so should i increase it i think a little bit bolder because in a situation whereby your audience is in the for you want others to see what your video is all about okay then we're going to go into padding so this is left padding now pushing it then we have right padding also far below yeah so it just shows you how you pad it to the left pad it to the right in it then we have the color so this is always my full stop i can go forever with this because there are so many colors and they all look so nice like they look so nice so this is like you just want one color you know and it's also the gradient even to have mixed mixture of the two colors so this is gradient so this is orange then this is oh i like this one well they're always just so nice so i'm just showing you what they have so i'm going to go with this color right now because it looks nice from my background then i don't know what this does i haven't used it before then duplicity you know you want it to be very out there or just now so i don't know what that is so i'm going to cancel it so it rotates you now i like where it rotates so it's rotating how i want it to be you want it to rotate i want it to be like on rotating so that's just how it's gonna be so cancel then masks to be honest i haven't used it before but i think if you want to just cover a bit of your thumbnail if you want some part to show yes so sure i don't use that thing. then fonts there are so many fonts in this app that it's very challenging but i would put that back on my mind that i want my my text to be very very capturing that okay even if the person has sight issues the person will be able to see what my thumbnail is all about you can get creative if you want to but the clearer your text is the clearer the person will want to watch it if the person's text is not clear enough you may not want to watch it because you may not get confused so that's that about that okay i can't remember which one i used before so yes um no nah, it's not this okay um so this is why i don't change this stuff no nah, it's definitely not this okay 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 um no okay i think this is it i just have to yeah so why did they just kept hitting the undo button there so um i'm going to go in straight up right next to style you want it bold now you want it italics or you want to underline you have all of that here then that looks nice actually 
so but I don't want any of that so I'm just gonna hit the X button because I'm gonna be Xing now so the curve it wants to have like curvy over the head over everything it wants to have a bottom you no know? then background they want to create a background I think I have to adjust this thing back because that's curved up all my work so just not just not just not just not nah. just have to be patient with this because <laughs> no any small thing you press like this gone so the background enable it so you have the blue you have the white you have the black you have the white you have the red pink paste of pink whatever the color is so that just is sure you want to have a background that separates your thumbnail from the actual text then the left padding is what I'm doing now you want to move it left or right you want to not you want it not just to occupy your place you just want to push it to one corner okay, this is nice but now then we just want to make the edges to be curved up or to be squish to be sharp or to be round so that's what the radius does well i'm not doing it with this so x good then the alignment I use this because is that push it to the far left or to the middle or far right so going to line spacing so spacing so this helps to separate your letters you want them to be really separated or jam packed together so it helps to separate everything then line spacing for well sorry this is spacing for words you want to separate your words then line spacing basically just down and up so that one does left to right this one does up to down then you have your stroke you want to like make it have something at the background like i see this is the color at the back so that like different colors then there's also the stroke width that will help you intensify it or not so that i want it to be very thick or no i think i'm going to go with something very I'm not sure. Okay, I think that's fine by me. So I'm going to click the tick button. Then in a stroke, like that, I want it to be very blurry. That's it. You want to have outer glow. That's it. Most of this I don't really use because I just want it to just be basic and simple. So that's it. I want your blur videos to be very mad. So that's 50 for you. Then the different colors, you know, you want your background blood to be pink, that's it also. You want it to be thin, then you want to use the opacity, yeah. So that's just it, guys. There's nothing really. Then the outer glow is enabled now. Then you have the offsets, you know, left and right, X and Y. So the way this thing does, and I'm changing it to black so you guys can see. What this thing does is that you want to move it your blur, you want to move it up or down. X means that like, okay, you want it left or right, then Y means up or down. So it just helps you. That's if you have this kind of picture back of your mind. Then you have the inner shadow, enable it, then you know, do the blurry videos kind of thing. Just basically play with it and see what this does. Okay, this is great. I've seen a YouTube thumbnail like this before. This is really great. So this app does a lot for you Android guys. If you're an Android person, you're like, nah, I don't have an iPhone, nah. This app is the bomb. So, Embers, to be honest, I don't use this, but I think this should be your light angle and all them stuff like that. Mm. So I go to Asia. Just don't destroy your work, but even though you destroy your work, you can quickly hit the undo button. So, this is the 3D rotate, so it's gonna help you with your stuff in 3D. <laughs> so, just okay, showing that you can turn left and right, then this make it a 3D text. They want to make like 3D, increase the depth, then to show you what it can do. You want to add color to it or you want to make it auto or want to have gradient that is also there for you to also use also <laughs> um okay so i think that's 
it's I'm just playing around with the depth and seeing the other things you can do. So it also has the rotation, so you can't forget to use the 3D rotation. I just like the making. So we have these. Then I don't see. I, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, I don't really use any of this, but this is the 3D shadow. So this is the reflection. You know, you want to have like mirror kind of thing at the bottom. That's it for you. So we're done with the tools. Okay, but I think I would like to increase my thumbnail. I feel like it's a little bit small, so I'm going to increase it bits. Okay, I'll just increase it and this. I'm just trying to make it look nice. Then, as I put it in place, I'm going to hit the three dots on top also. Export my image, ensure that it's in full quality and in GPG, then save it to gallery. One of the things that I've experienced in this app that I don't really like is that you can't just do your work then go back to portrait view then come back it's going to mess it up and the only thing that's going to be left intact is your background so ensure that once you start with the landscape just finish your work there and then because if it back to portrait it's going to scatter so once you start with it just finish it